So this is gonna be part nine, I think, probably the last part of our M programming tutorial. So one actually used what is ain't other than input to update our model. Okay, so let's see where we are currently. So when a test change in the test box, okay, we log into the console and we display the current uh, model, okay. And when you click on the button, we change the score to seven eight and also change the first name to the to the, to the genius. So what we want to do now is we want to take what was entered and use it to update the score instead of updating the score manually. So basically, we are saying that the score uh, when the when text change we are going to assign this and then use the same value to update the model here in test change. Okay. We are going to change the init method to include two more fields. Let's go to init method to include two more fields okay so i have score okay let me just include one more field actually value is equal to 293 let's take it for for, for instance this is what we have here then when you enter something in the test input it actually comes in as a text so we need to actually convert it to int so we also need to use to int here you have to import to int here to int okay all right we now want to update this core when test chain message is called so we want to modify the case section of update by using the operator to assign new score to the model while keeping the model on change i already explained this to you so let's go to the update so here we have when the test changes we want to update the model so we can actually update the model. You already know the syntax. Let me copy this uh, this from here and paste it right here. This shoot this backwards like this. Okay. Okay. So now when the uh, test changes, we want to uh, change the score. We can also now we are changing the score on test uh, on test on text change. Okay. So. We want to say score is now new text. Okay, now score is equal to new text, but new text now is a string because whatever is entered there is a string. What if someone enters a number? Well, we don't know. We can never tell what the user is going to enter. So we have to convert this to integer. So I'm going to say to int, okay? So in this case, now we still have a problem. And the problem is that um, when you say to int, when you say to int, to int actually returns something called maybe, okay? So it returns a maybe, maybe int or nothing, all right? So let's go to understand what is happening here. What's happening here is that we are converting new text to integer. The problem here is to int returns maybe while score is of type number. So score is number, but to int is maybe. So we want to force to int to return a number so we have to write a custom function that's going to check uh, what returns uh, for instance let's see um, so okay now the user from the end is converted to int returns maybe uh, which could is return say maybe it maybe could either be just value or it could be nothing so this is return when the to int fails uh, I think there's a way I can I illustrate this or explain this using ripple so I can say m ripple so if I take for instance uh, x is equal to 5 so this is a number okay um, so if I say to int and specify uh, so this doesn't work okay so I think I'm missing the syntax Okay, so x is equal to two and uh, five. Okay, so it doesn't work as well. Okay, so for some reason I'm messing up the syntax. Ah, uh, sorry. Um,
Okay, so this is what I was trying to achieve. So what we say to int, to int returns uh, just four, okay, which is the type is maybe int, but now it's, it's just four. Okay, when we have something else that maybe we enter to int, we have a or s, and it now returns nothing. So you can say it returns nothing. So it returns either may, uh, just val or nothing. We have to write a function now to go, this is going to check whether it returns just val. In that case, it works, but if it returns nothing, we are going to simply return zero. In this case, we have to return either the value or zero. So we are going to go up here and write a function. I already explained to you how to write a function. So we have a function here called add. So this add, we are not using it. So let me just change it to, let's call this function pass impute and it's going to take a test so it's going to take a test and it's going to let um, okay so they may be is equal to to end it's going to be the to end of this test okay so now we have a maybe value here so now in case of the maybe is a, a just val we return the val if it's nothing we return zero in this case we are sure that an integer will always be returned so i'm going to use a case statement here a case the maybe the maybe of uh just val it's going to be like this uh it's going to just return the value oh sorry okay and nothing in case it is nothing in case it is nothing, it's going to return zero. Okay. Okay, so this is the function we are going to use. Instead of using to int function, we are going to use this pass impute function that's going to return, always returns an integer. Because it's going to check if it returns nothing, like in case of we try to do to int of a string, it returns nothing, it's going to just return zero. Okay, so now we can use our custom function. So if we go up here or go down here, we can now use to, instead of using to int here, we can just use our custom function, which is pass impute. And we are going to be sure that the, 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 the new text or whatever the pass impute returns is always going to be uh, a number. Okay, so I'm going to save everything. Okay, so let's see where finally we will modify the add function to add the user input number to the model value. Okay, so, uh, so this update function and this add function here, we are going to simply modify. So let me just change, change this. So my score, initial score was 78. Let's see, the initial score was uh, 78 here. And on S. And when an input is entered, we want to add this uh, as, as seven, at least we want to add whatever is entered to this score. So I'm going to say, so it's going to be score will now be equals model dot score plus plus new text. Okay, I think this should be. Uh, I think this should be correct. Model dot score. Let's see. So I have okay model dot model dot value plus. Let's see. Give me a second. So we are modifying this call on text change. We are modifying this call on text change, and then we are assigning the value. So I'm going to say call here. Model dot change value. Call is equal to model dot value plus this call. Let me see. Value plus all right so when we click on add it's going to update this core using the value uh, that was uh, changed so actually hope you are going to be changing it let's call this uh, um, let's call it value so this is the value to be added to this core to so value this core is going to get value plus core and um, it's going to be, so the, the value initial value is going to be zero. Initial the value is going to be zero. 
But when we enter something, the value is going to update and then we are going to update our score with a new value. Okay, let's see how this all works out. I think everything is explained clearly in my website. I'm going to start a new uh, window here. All right, so um, Elm, let's go CDSRC and Elm make main Elm and finally M Reactor. Okay, great. We come here, I'm going to refresh this page. Now, if I click on add, you see, okay, so we've not displayed it, <laughs> so sorry for this. So here, let me just put this value here and score. Okay, so I'm going to save everything and let's refresh. Okay, rattle and then let's refresh. All right, so let's see what happens when I click here. We have the, ah, uh, so it's a mistake. So I forgot I needed to change this score. Okay. All right. Okay, so I think we are good to go now. Perfect. Okay. So initially, when I click on the ad, we have a score, a value of zero and score of 78. Now, if I enter, let's say, additional value of, uh, I have 20 here now. Now, when I click on add one more time, we have the value to be 20 and score to be 78. And when I click again, you have the score now to be 98 and the value is 20. If I click again, it adds one more time. Now, if I enter something not right, let's say this, Okay, so I click on add. Now you can see that value now is zero. <laughs> the value now is zero and the, the, the value remains zero and the score does not actually change. So the, the point here is that our function we call pass input is gonna actually return zero when a text is entered here. So I'm gonna be stopping here. Please remember to subscribe. And this pieces of code, I'm gonna, uh, this uh, program here is gonna be available in my GitHub repository. Please check the, the, the link in the description to the, in this video. It, it's gonna take you to my GitHub, uh, the, the repository on my GitHub where you can find this and simply get it and play around with it. So I'm gonna stop here. This is the end of this series of M. The next part of M, we are going to go a bit to intermediate uh, level of uh, functional programming using M. And then we are also going to be doing another series by next month that is functional programming using Scala and building web apps using Scala. So remember to follow me on my social network profile, be it Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn or GitHub, and let's keep in touch. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.